Hey guys, welcome back to Admiral Reviews. I know I've been MIA, I know I've been missing in action, I know I've been gone, I have been haven't been uploading, I am really sorry. This, when I upload to YouTube, this is what I do after my full-time job, you know, and I've just been, after vacation and then working, I just kinda got into a routine of just coming home and after work and just being tired, but now I am officially back. I am not, I'm not leaving again, I won't leave you ever again so please guys I'm sorry for everything thank you for the people that have supported me and and keep clicking that subscribe button because I could really I really appreciate it and this just shows me that just to can keep continuing and keep pushing forward and growing my channel so I appreciate everybody that does that but on to the chapter review of One Piece chapter 875 we're here to talk about One Piece today so the chapter starts off and I usually don't. I usually don't talk about the cover page, but this cover page and uh, this cover series has been pretty good, with the Bartolomeo uh, arc. And in this arc, Bartolomeo does some crazy stuff. He's doing some crazy. I don't even know what he has in his mind. What's he thinking? So he in this cover page, we see him burning the Shanks pirates flag, the red hair pirates flag, and I'm like. Did you think you ha did you think you're on the same level as Shanks? <laughs> Shanks is, is a whole nother tier. He's like obviously Bartolomeo knows that Shanks is a Yonko, but he still continues to burn this flag in the name of Luffy and the Straw Hat Pirates. Which you gotta applaud that he loves the pirate, the straw hats this much, but damn, still, you don't fuck with Shanks. I think in this series we got so accustomed to knowing Shanks is the good guy that we forgot that he's a pirate. He's a Yonko. He's one of the biggest, baddest pirates out there. He does shit that probably he's not supposed to do sometimes. But I was a, I just can't wait to see what the next cover page is and where this leads up to. So moving on to the chapter. The Straw Hats are running through Cold Cake Island trying to get back to the, the Thousand Sunny. And Big Mom is, is chasing them through the seducing woods. So as they're going, they're fighting homies and they're trying to move their way and navigate the seducing woods to get back to their ship. So Nami is seducing in her own way Zeus, the Thundercloud, uh, Big Mom's uh, right hand homie. And he's on this, you know, this high of eating Nami's Thunderball. And so Big Mom officially is like, what are you doing, Zeus? Get back here right now. And Zeus is like, man, Big Mom, all right, I'm going to get back, but let me just get one more of these Thunderballs. So as the, the Straw Hats are trying to kind of save the asses from Big Mom who's still attacking them, Luffy decides to use um, hockey up his arms and then use a Jet Gatling attack. And this is where we realize that hockey doesn't have an effect, even though Big Mom's homies are elements kind of like Logio style, how you can, they, the, the bodies are in the form of elements. Hockey doesn't work on them like it would work on a Logia type. And then Jinbei, this is where we get to see that Jinbei says, you don't need to use hockey, all you gotta do is just use like, as Prometheus is fire, all you have to do is just use water. You have to just use what, cause they're not a devil, they're, they're part of Big Mom's devil fruit, but they're not actually devil fruit users themselves. So they're just built, they're just basically built up or whatever, natural element Big Mom uses to make the homies. So water works fine with Prometheus and then they get to stop Prometheus that way. And then Jinbei states that you know Nami keep up with this um, giving feeding Zeus because if Big Mom ever gets back on Zeus they won't be able to outrun Big Mom and make it to the ship in time. So as they're running Zeus is he, he still wants to eat more of these Thunderballs so instead of eating the Thunderballs he goes and directly chomps on Nami's stick. I can't make this stuff up guys this is kind of I know this sounds weird but yes he's chomped on Nami's stick and he gets directly surged with all the thunderballs that's in Nami's stick and he gets supercharged you're powered up get in there so now he's fully he's fully statically positive so he has all the static electricity and thunder inside of him so he has this black ore around him so as the straw hats are running away Nami realizes that oh he he's full of thunder that and she can control the elements. 
So she uses an attack and she takes all the electricity that's inside of Zeus and strikes it directly onto Big Mom and the people and her, uh, her subordinates around her. And this is where people got pissed off because Nami, from what it looked like, it looked like Nami did damage to Big Mom. But I think Oda put it off that, okay, Nami, she, this is probably one of the most powerful attacks we've ever seen Nami use. But I'm pretty sure next chapter, Big Mom won't even be scathed by this. Don't worry, guys. Nami's, <laughs> Nami's still the weakest uh, straw hat in the crew. So don't worry about it. The power scalings is not off. Nami did not just get a... Uh, a random boost in her power level no big mom is perfectly fine we all know that she may have a little cut from that attack but don't worry about this whole nami situation guys just chill as the people the big mom pirates that are on this the thousand sunny they're on the ship looking at nami's attack and thinking that it's big mom using zeus and they're like oh well that must be it for the straw hats that must be big mom finishing it up and as the big mom pirates they see uh Brook and Chopper there, and Promet not Prometheus, I'm sorry, Perospero sees them and he's like, hey, your friends are gone, you see that attack, there's no way they're surviving Big Mom, so how about we just let you two guys go, and let's call it a wrap, which I'm like, what, why would you let them go, like, this is completely, it's supposed to be a slaughter, you're supposed to not let any of the big, uh, the straw hats go, but he gives the ultimatum to Brook and Chopper if they want to go they'll, they'll be set free and Brooke and Chopper give each other a look and I was dying because if I was them the way they gave each other a look I would have been like yeah boy let's get let's get the fuck out of here I'm not even playing like I said the straw hats who I was never part of the straw hats man get the fuck out of here but of course Brooke and Chopper they're straw hats and this is manga so of course they're gonna fight for the their their friends so Brook and Chopper, they get ready to engage in a fight between the Big Mom Pirates on the ship. So I think Brook and Chopper, they're definitely not going to face off against Katakuri because that would be an automatic slaughter. So I'm pretty sure that uh, they'll be fighting Peril Sparrow. Maybe a two-on-one because I even think that maybe one-on-one -on -one with Peril Sparrow, they'll be kind of outmatched. But I think a two-on-one will be a fair fight. So as we move on to the scene, we get the, the panel of seeing Chiffron and Pudding flying in on Pudding's carpet, homie. And we see the carpet, they're flying in, and they see the straw hats facing off against the big mom. So, they go into a whole discussion, but getting on to the main important part. At the end, Pudding gives off this face where she's like, oh, I see Sanji. And you can see the little heart emojis, the little heart pictures, showing that, okay, I, I guess she likes Sanji. But exactly at this moment, the next panel, she's like, oh, there he goes. And she goes into her evil face and she shows off the third eye. So, and like the next panel over, she completely changes like a whole 180. So like, I don't know what, what's the deal with pudding? Like Oda's really like, right now Oda, like before he was subtle with, is she good or is she bad? But now Oda's just blatant throwing out that she don't. We, she, I don't even think Oda knows because one panel she's good and then the right the next panel she's evil. So I, I don't know where they're going with this. I really don't know how this will end up or what the purpose of Pudding's plan is. But that's how the chapter ended. And there there's seems like there's going to be no break next week. So we're going to get some more One Piece next week. But uh, also to bring up in the beginning I didn't talk about this but Brooke and Chopper were in the submarine, and they they looked like they saw mer uh, Chopper saw, thought that he saw mermaids, and I think there was actually mermen. So I think that's the the, the fishman pirates, Jimbei's crew, and I actually think they're going to play a pretty. I'm pretty sure they're going to play a role because it was so quick and subtle that it was so odd that oddly placed that you just think, yeah, this has to be put there for something, and I think the fishman pirates. Didn't just leave Jimbei. I think they have a plan to actually help out the Straw Hats and help out Jimbei before they go back to Fisherman Island. But again, as I said, that's the end of the chapter. It was a good chapter. It was. I liked the way it was written. It wasn't you know action packed full. We didn't get any big reveals, but I thought it was well written chapter and it, it it flowed smoothly. But as like I said, that's the old chapter. Thank you for staying with this channel. Please show me love. Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that like. Please leave a comment down below about whatever you think about this chapter. And I would love to have a discussion with you guys. Other than that, have a nice ass day. Hey guys, did you like the video? 
please if you did so please hit that like button if you have any questions you would like to ask please put them down in the comment section i'll be willing to answer any question that you have and if you like what i'm doing with the channel and you want to see more please hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified on my future videos and other than that all i gotta say is have a nice ass day